Despite the dangers of sulfur dioxide or another eruption, people are still in Leilani estates they haven't evacuated yet, just a few. One lava photographer tells us his purpose for staying has become more than just documenting this event. Sarah Madison joins us now with more on that. Sarah. Marissa, longtime lava photographer Damien Barrios started out by helping friends find out if their homes have been overtaken by lava. After a few posts on social media, dozens of strangers started asking him to do the same. So we are here at your house. Um, you are in the clear. Uh, everything looks safe. Damien Barrios and his friends have checked on people's homes, made sure pets left behind had food and water, and even gone to grab important equipment. There's a, a, a birthing center that has a lot of medical equipment that was located there in Leilani. Um, and actually, ironically enough, that's where my son was born. Uh, and they also reached out to us um, about going and, and, and getting some of the medical equipment. For Barrios, this new responsibility has turned into an emotional journey. Continuing to go to these places and see people's homes getting ruined and, and, and the loss people were going through became something that I started to carry as a burden. Hi guys, um, I'm really sorry, but I don't think your house made it, guys. To say the least, there were definitely moments where I had to, you know, put my gear down and, you know, take a knee and, and just cry, you know? Despite some criticism, Barrio says this is his way of giving back. I realized that, you know, they were, they were hopeless. Nobody had anybody on the inside. There was no connection. There, they, they had no information. From, from a place of gratitude of knowing that we were fortunate to be there, to be able to get this, this coverage and to even be there, you know, I felt like it was really my kuleana to, to go out of our way and, and help some of these people. Barrio says covering a volcanic eruption in this day and age is completely different because of social media and the technology of smartphones, giving him more reason to help in this manner. Back to you.